hello 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 so today i'm doing a pump out i did actually do the folder but my camera decided to switch off and i only recorded like half of it so i thought i'd just show you this one and then do another um so the original idea came from both the paper letter blog and um hello my name is back i will link both of them down below so you can watch their tutorials if you wish um theirs were done on a4 and what i wrote down was completely nonsensical so this the the uh tutorial that you missed was just a mess anyway <laughs> It was just me trying to work out what was going on. And I've no idea if I followed their tutorial, whether I followed their tutorial or not, to be honest. Um, because I kind of was just playing it by ear. But yeah, for this, you've got these beautiful pockets here at the front. And then I open it up and I've just cut a vellum envelope in half to make these pockets here so and I used rub on stickers for the first time and it turned out so beautiful so you missed my excitement of that <laughs> of actually being like oh is this a rub on and it actually being a rub on because normally I'm like, oh, is this a rub on? And it's not. So the paper that I used and the rub ons were from the Mad Scrapper subscription box I got this month. Um, and they're just beautiful. I think that they're sort of fall colours running into winter. Um, so I really like it. So there's that one. And let's. Wait, I'm just going to move these out of the way a minute and get my I would say trusty it's, it's really not trusty at all my my uh, un, unpredictable scoreboard here <laughs> this might work okay I'm gonna use this one I'm going to score at half which is six And I'm going to spin it and score it in half, which is six. <laughs> and then I'm just going to fold these like so. And I'm going to get rid of this so it's not in the way. Right. Okay, so I have very... Uh, it's not particularly directional, I suppose. So I'm going to cut the score line out here. Like so. Just to the halfway mark. Snip that little bit off. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to fold this one completely in half. And then I'm going to glue it down. I mean, what I did with the... Uh, I suppose I could do that again. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave gluing that down for a minute. And then with this one, I'm going to fold it less than half. <laughs> and... 
proposta. Right, I see. So then I'm apparently going to spin it round. And this one will fold over here. So I've done them the wrong way round. Ah, poops. Okay, so to note, the, your score line wants to be on your left hand side and because this pocket has got to be the fold has got to be not half because it's going to go across like that and then this one is going to come up here so you need to be able to see it so that is your side note score line on the left hand side and I'm just going to glue this down also glue this side here and this side here trim this little bit here and now this one the bottom corner you can fold in half and because I've got that extra bit there that I'm not too keen on I think I'm going to do what I did before, which is snip this corner bit off. It's got that score line on. And I'm going to go along with the pretty punch. I hope this is all coherent, like it's not too difficult to follow what I'm doing. And kind of decipher it a little. Right, I'm just going to pop some of these on because that doesn't seem to want to glow for some reason. Because this project hates me and doesn't want me to <laughs> make it. <laughs> okay, and then this one's going to pop behind to 
to create your like card bit. Uh, but I'm going to glue this pocket first. So I'm just going to glue this out a bit. But, well, middle I suppose, just before the score line. Glue leaking back there. And I'm gonna just pop these on. So yeah, you've got your main pockets there. I do think they look really pretty. Um, so yeah, it was score at half, turn it, score it at half again. And then you want to cut the uh, score line out of the left hand side to the middle. And then you want to fold the top bit down, not quite half. And you want to fold the opposite corner up, like in half. And then you're going to fold this bit over and glue it into that pocket and that bit up and glue it on. There, there you have it. Right. And then inside, all I did was you could get any envelope or you could use just, you could use uh, any envelope or you could, um, make your pockets but I've got these really pretty fall type vellum envelopes which I think make really beautiful pockets so all I did was oh, I can't even do that right <laughs> oh my gosh there we go all I did was I sealed up the envelope And then, I mean, you could do it in half, you could do it so that you've got different size pockets. I'm going to do different size pockets this time. I think I did it in half last time. And then I'm just going to neaten it up by rounding the edges. And I'm going to put a little notch in there. And then I'm going to do the same with this side, pop a little notch in and round those corners at the top and then I'm just going to glue them and they make really really perfect pockets without having to go through too much hassle um, yeah so I find that really lovely, beautifully simple. And like I say, it could be any envelope, really. It could be a craft envelope that you decorate or a white envelope that you kind of like draw on or decorate up, put stickers on to make it look a bit nicer. Um, it could be like a coloured envelope or patterned or just anything. And it just makes a really nice simple pocket without too much hassle and I think that they look good anyway although they'd probably look better if I could find my better glue rather than the PVA glue that kind of white warps it a little bit but uh, what are you gonna do right, I'm just gonna pop something on top of that to hold that And then I'm going to glue, glue, glue this one. Pop. 
that one there. And I'm going to wait for them to dry. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. Okay, so, yeah, those pockets, I mean, they're not dry, dry, but they're not coming away anymore. Okay, so that is, I'm just going to cut this corner. And that's it. You've got your pocket here and your pocket here. And then your little card. I mean, if you did want, you could have that as a front page and not have a pocket. You could decorate it up really nicely. But I quite like it as this being the front pocket. I think it looks really pretty. I'm going to decorate this now. I want to use another one of these because they're really fun to use. Kind of reminds me of something. Oh, like scratch cards almost, isn't it? Look at that, that's so beautiful. It's just really pretty, I think. And I'm going to do some of these fallen leaves. really pretty. Pop the backing back on that now. So I am a fan of the rub-on stickers. I mean I'm not sure whether they always come out so smoothly or whether it's just a really good brand um, because I've never used them before. But if you uh, let me know if you've used them before and you've had any problems with them or you su or if you've got any suggestions of a really good brand, because I'd like to get some more. I'd really love to get some like gold sort of ones so it like looks almost embossed on. I mean, preferably I'd like to get a heat gun um, and do some the proper embossing like the embossing powders and the heat gun so that I could do it properly but um, for an alternative that's not a bad cheaper solution um, I'm going to use one of these flowers that I made so I made loads of these um, using septaria 18's tutorial um, and I will link that below as well I'm just going to pop a little in fact I might glue it on first and then pop a middle in just put the lid on the glue on it Fool. But these are really simple to make and I think they look beautiful. I think they look really, really pretty and they're really good for using up your scraps of paper. Um, so like if you've got the smaller scraps that you can't do anything with, they're really good for for using those up I'm just gonna pop a little blob of that in then we've got to wait for that to dry um, <clears throat> I'm 
but yeah that that is that is the the basics of it all um I think it's a, it's a lovely design um, and like I say go and check out the paper letter blog and uh, hello my name is Beck because they might have an easier to follow tutorial or a completely different one like I say I'm not sure because what I do is I watch I watch stuff like that and I think oh that's really gorgeous I want to make that and then I write down the instructions in my book and then I write down what video I got it from but for this particular one the instructions were very sparse <laughs> so I had to kind of like just figure it out as I went along it's a shame that the video cut out because I'm I'm sure that it was was uh, great fun <laughs> I think the end result is very pretty with the pockets like that um, and once you realize how to do it I think it's pretty simple um, once you figure out the mechanics of it so I will be changing my my notes in there to reflect what you're actually meant to do <laughs> so uh, so that I can do it again um okay guys well I hope you enjoyed the video and that the tutorial was easy enough to follow despite my uh, kind of hiccups along the way and um, yeah if you want to flash me that thumb and comment down below uh, about any kind of rub on brand uh, recommendations you have and uh, and yeah, check out the Mad Scrapper shop because that's fantastic. And, and this is where I got these papers and the rub-ons were from my subscription box. And they're just such beautiful papers. But they have more than just the subscription box. They have a whole ton of stuff. Um, and I would love to know any small shops that you recommend as well for people to check out um, I always love visiting the smaller sort of shops because they always have such lovely things and you can find some real unique things as well um, like maybe smaller kind of brands or original artworks and things like that which uh, which I love um, Yeah, okay, well I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love ya. Bye.